This is Margie Ann with Margie Ann Art. I'd like to introduce you to this glass baby. It's called Chicks and Danielle. And you can see why it's called Chicks and Danielle. First of all, I want to tell you about how I made this darling piece of glass art. With the chicks, each chick, I tried to use a little bit different color yellow glass that I cut out. And then I cut out one piece of glass, and then the second piece of glass, I made it a little bit bigger, and then I put some yellow paint to make it look fluffy on the outside of the chick so it would look like, you know, the baby chick uh, uh, feathers and stuff like that. I thought that was very, very cute. And I think the, the chicks are darling. Each one is a little bit different than the other one. And... This one maybe needs to go on a diet. What do you think, huh? Too much seed or whatever little chicks eat. Now, I'm going to tell you how I make Danielle's darling shoes and uh, socks. This, I used a special kind of black glass and cut it out. I thought it would be cute as a patent leather shoe. And then her... her uh, sock. I thought, why well, have just a plain white sock? Let's make it cuter. So what I did is I took this special kind of paint here. Let me show you it. See this special kind of paint? And I just put dots on it. Just dots on it. And then I just took the pink paint and just put a little scallop on it. And then I put it in the kiln to bake it. I thought that would be really, really cute. And now Danielle's dress... What I did is I just cut out a cute little piece of pink glass, and then I put this paint on it. See this one? You see, I use it a lot. And I just made little squares with little dots at each corner of the square. And that's how I made Danielle's cute little outfit. I thought that was cute for a little child, a little daughter of mine. Her name is Danielle. And then you've got to make a tisket a tasket. Uh, a glass basket. So how I made this was with our friend Dicro. I'm going to show you that. Here's our friend Dicro again. And I used um, what they call noodles. And I'm going to show you this stuff. Here's the noodles. See what they look like? See, they're just straight pieces of glass. And they come in different colors. I thought that would be interesting for, you know, see, see how cute that is? And then I just put dots of uh, paint on there, and then I'll show you the, a, a noodle that, not a noodle, but uh, the dicro. See, see, and this one comes in twirly-whirly, and it has different colors. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? See, I thought that would make a cute little Easter basket. And then I just cut out some little pieces of glass, and then I took a piece of metal and twirled some metal around it, Real simple to make it look like the handle of the glass, uh, of the little basket and stuff like that. And how I made um, the uh, grass was real simple too. What I did was I just took some frit. You see this frit? Remember me telling you about frit? And I sprinkled it on here. And then I just took a fork and made it like this to make it look like grass. I thought that would be really cute, and I think it turned out really cute for grass. You know, it looks kind of like grass. It's different textures in it. And then the sky, this was a white piece of glass, so I just put some pretty blue on, and then I thought, well, let's make it a little more interesting, and I took a little lavender on here. So that's how I made this piece. I hope you're enjoying this piece. I thought it, it turned out really cute. Nothing difficult to do. And uh, let's see, I made this piece maybe about, maybe 10 years ago. And it's 25 and a quarter by 17. Okay, and I think that's about all I have to say about it. But it is named Chicks and Danielle. And uh, that's my daughter. And she loved Easter so much. And I... I just thought the children would love an Easter uh, piece for them. I, I think, you know, children love Easter so much with the, you know, the Easter eggs and stuff like that and painting the Easter eggs and little chicks and that. So I hope you folks enjoy this Easter piece. I enjoyed bringing it to you. Thank you.